Your thoughts on Hillbilly Jim? He's one lucky guy. Um, not much talent. Uh, nice guy. Uh, he's had a job with WWE, F, whatever, for years, doing what, I don't know. Um, he hurt his leg in San Diego. I guess he hurt it really, really bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a, with a match with Bruce Beefcake, Johnny Valiant was the manager. I'm, I'm not knocking him or anything like that. I, I just, very limited talent. And, um, but I mean, people did like him and everything. But, uh, you know, he got hurt and they took care of him. And gee, there's been so many other guys that had a hundred times more talent and got hurt and they just pushed him on the wayside. So I don't understand, I don't know, maybe he knew where the body was buried. How, how did he even come to be uh, at this time? Where did he emerge from? Had you known him prior to this? Mudlick, Tennessee. Mudlick, Kentucky, right? That was the gimmick town. Uh, no, I, uh, they brought him in with Uncle Elmer, and then he had another hillbilly running around. And, what oh, the hell is with the hillbillies? And, there? and, the, and they, would, they would put me and Brutus against those guys, and I, oh, God, not this again. The only time I really enjoyed it was when they told me that they wanted me to beat Uncle Elmer right in the middle of the ring in Madison Square Garden. I go, all right. Well, I can't figure four of that big slob, but I can drop an elbow on him, and, uh, and that was kind of the end of Uncle Elmer. Uncle Elmer's kind of a sweet guy. He, he sold fake Rolexes all the time. I remember watching one of the British Bulldogs look at his Rolex, and all of a sudden, the face and, and the spring and everything flies out like this. He, GD, and he throws his... What the hell? He says, well, you can't buy a Rolex for $25. What the hell is wrong with you, you know?